I'm now calling these miracle marathons, using mirrors to experience miracles. I just spent five hours in a marathon. And that might seem like a long time if you think about the concept of five hours, but every moment was just a practice of love and presence. And so it's kind of like if you spend five hours with a friend versus five hours doing chores. This felt like five hours with a dear friend. And so the time flew. It felt like 15 minutes. It's one of those things where when you do it effectively in the ways that I've developed with these journeys I've created, it the time flies because you're in, it's almost like a deep trance of loving presence. And just like if you spend a day with a friend that you really enjoy spending time with, doing something really fun, the time flies by and you're like, oh my God, how did all this time pass? Like, I felt like we didn't even, like, I feel like I just got here. It's like that when these journeys are effectively applied as I have developed them. And so I wasn't even planning to spend that long at all in a marathon. I just approach it every day, morning and night, and say, you know, I'm here to experience what I'm here to experience. And I flow with these journeys I've created. And it always takes me somewhere new. Even though I've literally been doing this every day since before I can remember. And that is an amnesia joke because I literally started doing these marathons every day when I could not create new memories. And Kristen back then, and you'll have to explore my other content if you're not familiar with this journey because it is a profound miracle. So please explore other videos and the video description below for more insight because having the backstory of what's led me to the work and play that I do is uh, impactful, <laughs> to say the least. It was impactful on me as I was uh, learning about it for the first time because I couldn't remember it. Another amnesia joke. But I've literally been doing these marathons every day since before I can remember. <laughs> literally. <laughs> Literally, okay, I can't, I can't reiterate that enough. I'm, I'm enjoying that joke with my wife. <laughs> no, literally, I've literally been doing these marathons since before I can remember. Huh? Yeah, I know exactly. That's what I was thinking too. No, no, she said it first. No, no, she said it first. It wasn't me. No, it was her. No, no, seriously, <laughs> no, seriously, it wasn't me. It was all her. <laughs> no, seriously, no, don't. Don't look at me in that tone of voice. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing at all. Yeah, I've literally been doing these marathons every day since before I can remember. Okay, so now that we're past that joke, I've never passed it. I think it's funny because I've actually processed the experiences. Even though I couldn't remember the experiences, they got processed because of how powerful and miraculous the journeys are. Mir miraculous miraculous marathons. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lots of marathons. Okay. All right. So back to what I was saying. <clears throat> <clears throat> Implicit revelations. Case study notes. No, seriously. <clears throat> no, stop being so serious. No, seriously. No, stop it. No, stop it. No, no, ser no seriously. No, stop it. Shh. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Shh. I didn't. No, literally. I said no. She looks at me in this tone of voice that I'm just like wifey, you know, anyway. So I did this marathon for five hours tonight. Wasn't planning to at all. I was thinking maybe an hour tops, but you know, things happen when you're in miraculous unfoldings. <laughs> miraculous. <laughs> miraculous unfoldings. All right. So after the marathon, I went and did my shmogas, which is the word I use for yoga because, you know, I do what I want. Um, and so I did use some yoga, shmogas, and... Um, kind of integrated the five hour marathon in stillness and immediately afterwards a song came to mind and this is a song that my little Kristen my little Kristen my little Kristen <laughs> 
This is a song that my little Kristen, little, little Kristen, knew. And I remembered it with distinction and connection because that little girl can now see who she grew up to be and who is here now to care for her. When, long story short, to summarize, one year ago, I couldn't remember any of my childhood. And I had very little orientation with who I was, especially in relation to who I was as a child. And two years ago, my inner child was dissociatively manifested while battling over 100 severe and disabling health challenges. And now I come in here singing and dancing to a song that my little Kristen listened to when she was maybe eight years old. And I integrated all those memories without touching any of them just by having fun and playing in mirrors. In order to remember a song and emotions and the words and the different beats of the song, there has to be connection of implicit emotional and procedural memories from the times when that song was learned and from the time that song was listened to and enjoyed and sung along with. And all of that neural wiring, once it is connected within itself, then has to be connected with recent updated neural wiring. And if that original neural wiring was from a few decades ago, then there has to be some level of connection between all the neural wiring from childhood and the neural wiring that's more recent, there has to be connection between all the gap, all the years that have passed since originally learning that song. And a year ago, none of that was connected. And two years ago, it was so mega not connected that there were different people inside of this brain and body who were neurodevelopmentally progressing through childhood and teenagehood. And these miraculous marathons, <laughs> miraculous marathons, have accomplished more than I ever imagined possible. And even before all of this, the last couple of years that I shared, there were miracles unfolding in the years prior to that before I was me, <laughs> when Kristen was living with adaptable consciousness condition, which is an incredible mirror or miracle. <laughs> adaptable consciousness condition is an incredible miracle, and I'm deeply blessed to have gotten to experience that and to be able to now actually remember those experiences because I integrated them without touching any memory data. <laughs> Right? 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 Dramatic eyebrow movement to emphasize the whole wowness of it all. Without touching any memory data, I get to integrate all those experiences. And this is such a powerful tool because if we can't remember experiences, or if we don't want to remember experiences, or if we just want overall improved navigation and regulation, or if we're dealing with a health challenge that began during experiences we don't want to look at or if we're trying to progress through a health challenge that um you know like anxiety depression ocd ptsd etc if we're trying to maneuver into a more stabilized state of experience then looking at the problem or the battle or the issue or the struggle doesn't bring about resolution because it only enhances what is difficult and challenging and painful and trying to look at memories to transform what's happening or trying to look at neural wiring to transform experiences or improve experience, not even just to transform it, but to improve the quality of life, it's, it holds a lot of resistance to what you're actually wanting. And so instead of looking at neural wiring 
and trying to change it. This is a miraculous process that indirectly transforms it while having fun. And that has really been the theme uh, of this entire journey because even when <laughs> even when my inner teenager was manifested as her own independent state of consciousness or basically as this little girl was actually going through teenagehood for the first time because she missed it the original time because she was stuck in suppressed memories from suppressed trauma you know super fun joys of experience as a, an evolving beingness when this little girl was finally going through her stages of teenagehood a couple of years ago and she was manifested the whole emphasis of the healing journey which is part of what led to things like the healing and happiness playbook was how can transforming the greatest steps of impossibility and resolving the deepest most indescribable pains and transforming the most indescribable health challenges and recovering aspects of my beingness that felt like they were lost forever and you know etc cetera, etc cetera. how can this be fun how can this be light how can this be not just possible or doable but enjoyable enjoyable how can i connect disconnected brain hemispheres while enjoying the journey how can i transform decades of challenges while enjoying the journey and that's really been the whole theme of what's led to basically every creation and offering and service through Kristen's consciousness consultancy is how can the healing journey be enjoyable no matter who we are or where we're at or what we're going through or what we're reaching for um, so anyway <laughs> just to bring it all together tonight um, I yet again <laughs> did a five hour let me sorry let me um plug my hi let me plug my phone in <clears throat> so it doesn't die on me um how can okay so, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> hey you hey you um so tonight yet again another <laughs> another five hour marathon another five hour marathon and um and again i've been doing this every single day for four years four years kristen's been doing marathons every day for many hours every day every single day without without missing one every day for four years She's been practicing social self-engagement and the application of thesis number 29 before it even became thesis number 29. And even now, there's still miracles happening. After doing this for every day for four years, there's still miracles happening. And so after spending five hours of just going through this marathon journey, not working with any memories, just practicing social self-engagement in different ways that felt just wonderful. Not working with any m memories, not even, uh, not even intending to transform or recover anything. And after integrating it with some yoga, I came in and was immediately dancing with my inner child to a song that she learned when she was like eight years old. When two years ago... She was literally a different person from me and I couldn't connect with her. And a year ago, I couldn't remember her at all. And now she's here fully united with me. Without touching any memory data. Without working with any past experiences. Without touching any details of neural wiring. And while having fun and being light. Just so much fun. So much fun. Like karaoke bar status fun <laughs> like karaoke bar status fun and um and the deepest regions of unconscious memories the hardest memories to c touch the most difficult memories to integrate the most unconscious of implicit neural wiring from some of the earliest years of life 
has connected in ways I never imagined possible through these miraculous mirathons. And please do explore thesis number 29 and other related video creations um, if you're interested in any of these topics because it is an unfathomably remarkable miracle. And I am so grateful to be here. But the important aspect about all of this is that consciousness is united and the unconscious body-mind has improved navigation and regulation. It really actually doesn't matter about connecting memories. Memories don't exist to store the past. They exist to provide navigation in present and potential moments. And so connecting all the neural wiring matters because it helps us have improved navigation and regulation. Navigation meaning more clarity and authority within thoughts, feelings, and action patterns. You have more power to think what you want to think and feel what you want to feel and make decisions as you want to make them rather than them being automated and habitual and unconscious or instinctive or based on how things have been chosen in the past. And, um, the lighting's not the best. There you go. Hi. And the regulation matters because, you know, you can breathe better. You can think clearer. Your prefrontal cortex is more engaged. And regu- the nervous systems are more regulated. The digestions have improved. Uh, cranial nerve functions more effectively. You actually have a deeper sense of expression through facial muscles. Like the entire way my cranial nerves have ch- have are operating now is 2,000% different than they were three years ago. And... The key factor has been daily application of thesis number 29. There were maybe a couple other contributors, but the main key number one thing that has created this transformation is daily application of thesis number 29, practicing social self-engagement through marathons and other applications of thesis number 29, which are discoverable through my mere play with mere power, creative connections program play. Playgram. <laughs> Playgram. Um, and so it's not really about connecting neural wiring. It's about improving navigation and regulation in this stuff, the physical bodiness, and uniting consciousness, aspects of the self, the, the essence of who we are that's flowing through this brain and bodiness. And so it's not about connecting memories, which is why working with the memories doesn't accomplish as much this journey accomplishes more because it's an emphasis on what actually matters which is the health and well-being of the unconscious body mind and the connectivity and union between aspects of self and anything and everything can be transformed without touching it without even meaning to or intending to and um the journey is fun and enjoyable and it's just amazing like it there's there's genuinely no words to describe what I've been experiencing how I see myself in a mirror who I see and how I connect with who I see is a thousand percent different now than it was a year ago and it's five billion percent different than it was two years ago. And it's 200 trillion percent different than three years ago. And it feels amazing. And it feels wonderful. And it is so trippy. Because how we see ourselves in a mirror has to do with how neural wiring is providing navigation. And I've discovered these miraculous ways to use the styles of self-recognition and self-resonance in a mirror to navigate the hidden realms of the unconscious body-mind without looking at any neural wiring. And then using the, what is unveiled through that journey to have a pathway to transform it just by nurturing internal attachments, practicing social self-engagements in mirrors for you know, 15 minutes here or there is enough. But if you want to go deep, you can do a couple hours here and there. But it's fun and enjoyable and it's transformative. It is literally the journey of a lifetime. 
so yeah, there's that. <laughs> there's that. Just, yeah, I just felt inspired and wanted to share. Um, if any of these topics interest you, please do check out more of my free content and also the offerings through my business. And even if marathons don't interest you, I'd love to connect with you another way. I offer a wide variety of services and programs and even Healing Journey merchandise. Heck, you don't want to do a deep dive journey? Just go grab a t-shirt or a mug, you know? You're like, ah, this is where I'm at in my journey. I'll, 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 I'll throw in like a a mug or a t-shirt and um that'll be my healing journey investment for now until i'm ready for the deeper stuff like that's totally cool there's something for everybody there's over a hundred original designs over a hundred original designs in my merchandise store um and lots of programs that are really fun videos that are really fun and something for everybody something on every level of no matter who you are where you're at in your journey so please do feel free to explore uh more about that there's also fun stuff like personalized self-hypnosis sessions or you literally just like go on this really mystical magical adventure and uh i just lead you through the most wondrous experience of a cosmic lifetime um so yeah lots of different stuff if you want to connect with me in any of that way um and if not, you know, that's cool too. I love you. <laughs> you rock. And uh, just stuck to share the journey. Just stuck to share the journey. Um, but yeah, miraculous mirror thumbs are uh, definitely uh, my cup of tea, to say the least. Anyway, um, thanks for being here. Thanks for checking out my stuff. And um, give yourself some love today because you deserve it. And um, you can. Self-love is... It's always available in your breath and your heartbeat. So you may as well, like, choose that. So that's cool. Anyway, yeah, so this is a miracle. I'm just like, what? Completely see myself differently than I did at the beginning of my marathon. Because there are brand new connections in my brain. And there are brand new aspects of my consciousness who are fully here, united for the very first time in my life. And just while having fun. Just so having fun and hanging out. Karaoke bar status. So, lots of miracles. Miracles. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you later. <laughs>